Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress with XAMPP on Mac for free. Even though I'm going to be using Mac for this tutorial, I believe you can use the same for Windows laptop. So I've written down the step by steps in this Google document. I'm going to make the Google document available in the description. So check the description uh, for the link to the document. Before we get started, if this is the first time you're coming to this channel, please subscribe and turn up notifications so that anytime I post videos like this, you'll be the first to know about it. So let's get started. You need two things basically. You need this ZAMP and then you need WordPress actually. So this is supposed to be WordPress, not WordPress.com. Okay, so we are going to download these two files. Okay, so and they are actually free. All right, both of them are open source. So I'm going to click on this and then I'll go to the website. And then let me just click on this as well Why the other one is loading in the background. So this is ZAMP, okay, uh, apachefriends.org. Uh, so you see that you can also download it for Windows, for Linux, and the one that I'll be downloading is for Mac, all right? So I'll just click on this, Mac. And then when it gets here, it says, um, awesome, your download will start automatically. Click here. Uh, if it doesn't so basically this is where it's downloading so we're just gonna wait for it to download it says your download will start shortly so let's just wait for it to download right so you see that it's about to download now so it's asking me for where to download so I'm just gonna create a short folder here and then I'll call it Mac uh, WordPress or Mac sorry WordPress on Mac. So I'll create this folder. You can just download it directly on your laptop, but I, for, to make it easier, that's why I'm downloading it um, in this folder. So I'll just click on save. So that is downloading already. So the next thing we need to download is WordPress. So come to WordPress.org. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything for you here. All right. So I'm not getting paid for any of this and the links are safe. All right. So I'll go to WordPress.org. You can either go directly or just click on the link in the material that I'm going to share with you so that you can follow me along. So the next thing you want to do is to click on get WordPress or just go to download. OK, so but I'm going to click on get WordPress. And then here we have two options it says download and install yourself set up a hosting provider okay so um, to set up a pro hosting provider basically you just automatically install WordPress on the hosting provider check the link in my description on how you can you know um, go about um, building WordPress website using hosting provider all right but for this guide I want to show you how you can build WordPress locally on your laptop so that you can use it to practice building your website or you can build a website on your laptop. OK, so I'm just going to click on download WordPress. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on save. All right. So we just completed the first step. Now, the next step is for us to install ZAMP on our Mac, right? So you install ZAMP on your Mac. And to do that, we're just going to go to, you know, our desktop where we have WordPress on Mac here. So I'm just going to open the folder and then I'll click on this ZAMP, right? And then I'll install it. So I just double clicked. So once I double click on it, I can just bring my mouse over to this icon. And then I'll click on it so you see that it's here. So I'll just double click on this again. So you can see here that it's bouncing. So it means that something is happening. 
So here it says ZAMP installer cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified. So when it shows you something like this, right, just click on cancel. Now, the reason is um, I turn up, you know, security on my uh, Mac. And so when software that are not downloaded directly from the Mac um, app store, they tend to give those warning. But that website is actually very safe. So what I can do is I'll just right click and then I will click on open. So you see, once I click on open, it shows the same warning, but then I'll just click on open again. And then I'll impute my password and then click on OK. So you can see it's bouncing here again. So let's see if it will install this time around. All right, so the next step is to click on next. So this installation is pretty easy. Just click on next and then click on next and then click on next. And you see that it is preparing to install or is actually installing at the moment. All right, so once the installation is completed, uh, you can click on finish. But at the moment, we don't want to launch ZAMP. So I'm just going to click on this to uncheck it and then I'll click on finish. So our next step is to unzip WordPress and rename it to what you like to call your website. So I'm just going to go to WordPress here, right? WordPress on Mac folder, and then I will just double click on it to unzip the folder. So if you are using Windows, there are applications that you can use to unzip. So you can Google how to do that. All right. But for Mac, all I needed to do is just to double click to unzip it. OK, so the next thing to do is to copy and paste the WordPress folder in htdocs folder. It will be found in your what? ZAMP installation. So we go to applications. So if you go to your Mac, you go to applications. All right then on the application, you should be able to see ZAMP folder. So click on it, double click, and then you see HG Docs. double click on it. And then you bring this particular folder. So let me just put this by the side. And then let me put this by the side. So you copy this, right? And just drag it and paste it here. All right, so once you are done with that, you can rename it to whatever you like. So in this case, I can rename it to say um, WP Tutorial. Now, what you are renaming here is what we call the database name. So I just name it to WP Tutorial, okay? WP with Tutorial. So the next thing for us to do is to open the WordPress folder again and edit the WP config sample file. So, and whatever you need to edit it to is here actually. So I'm just going to show you. All right. So we're going to do step five and step six together. So here, open this folder. All right. So double click on it to open. And then you will see a folder called WP, this folder. WP config sample. Just click on right click on it. Okay. So once you right click on it, you can open with you know text or you just double click on it. So let's open it here. So open with text. All right. And then if you look at this very well. You will see that we have, you know, we have here where we have the database settings. All right. We have the database settings here. So what you're going to do is where we have this database name here. So just delete what is here. All right. Make sure that whatever you're writing is between those codes. Delete what is there and then change it to the name that you rename your WordPress folder to. So here I'm going to say WP Tutorial. All right. 
and here where we have database username all right click on it delete it and then write root okay and then where we have database password make sure that this is empty all right so delete it but make sure that you leave the quotation mark there so once you're done with that just save it all right so you can click on save so once you have saved that just close it now if you go to our instruction you see that everything i said here was what i did now the next thing you want to do is to duplicate that folder and rename it all right remove the sample at the front okay so we duplicate this right click duplicate once you duplicate just you know right click on it then click on rename and then delete the copy and sample and then ensure we only have wp-config.php. Once you are done with that, just click outside of it, okay? And then that is safe. So the next thing we want to do is to go back to our SAM folder and open manager.osx icon, all right? So I'll go there and then I can just go back to application and then i will click on this to open it again and then this is the manager osx so double click on that so once you double click on that it's going to ask you for your password just type in your password again and then click on ok so once you do that it's going to bring you to this screen so make sure that you go to manage server so if you go back to what we're doing you see we say now go to zam folder and open now we've done that already so we are now in number nine number nine says go to manage servers and run all the servers wait for all to run right so once we're here we go to manage servers and you can see that this is running so what you're going to do is just click on start all so that everything should start all right so it's going to take a bit of a time for it to start but just leave it until it all started okay now as you can see that all have turned green and they are all running okay so our next step is to go to our browser I say go to your browser and type localhost so i'm just going to go to my browser here and then i'll type localhost all right just local host is okay so i'll just host all right and then i'll enter so as you can see it says welcome to zamp all right so once you're here the next step right now let's close the other um the other tabs that we have here because we don't need them at the moment so once you're here, you see it's the next step for us to do is to go to PHP my admin. After going to the PHP my admin, we'll then go to database and input the name of your database. So we'll go to PHP my admin. Don't worry, you're going to get access to that document in the description so that you can follow along. So once you're here, go to database. So once you go to database, this is where you will now put the name of the database right as you can see here right now go to, um, impute the name of your database all right so here we're going to put it as wp tutorial okay so once you're done with that just click on create so you can see here that the database is created right so once you have done that okay the next step for you is to go to your local host slash name of your database so i'll go here and then type localhost slash wp tutorial 
to tour rear and then click on enter wow can you see what is happening now we now have wordpress now all we need to do is to install wordpress with our details right so it's here we are on step 14 now install wordpress with your details so i will come back here and then put the title of your wordpress site so i can say the you i'll be wordpress tutorial you can name it whatever you want okay so i'll just say wordpress tutorial username put it whatever name you want to put so i'll just say shola matthew and then here i will impute my password so once you impute your password impute your email here once you finish imputing your email here right just click on install so you will be asked do you want to save your password if you want you can save it for me i would just say no thanks so it says here that your wordpress is successfully installed so your username is this and your chosen password you can click on here to go and log into your wordpress website okay or you can also follow this step that we have here which is the last step 15th step it says go to localhost slash name of your wordpress database right and then wp admin very important you add that so as you can see it's also the same thing here localhost slash wp tutorial slash wp login but it's put php but if i put wp admin you see it will bring me to the same page here right so this is where i now log in with my username and then with my password so i'll just log in to my admin panel now this admin panel is where we we'll call the back end of your website where you can you know edit the website where you can install plugins and do a whole lot of things okay so and if you go to if you go to uh, wordpress tutorial or the name of your website and then you click on visit website you see that we now have wordpress installed already so this is the latest wordpress at least for now all right so this tutorial is all about how you can install WordPress using XAM on your Mac. If you want to learn how to build professional website, check the link in the description below and watch the video that I have for you. Please like this video so that other people can see it. And if you have anybody that you think should benefit from this video, please copy the link and share with him or her. Before you go, Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn up notifications so that anytime I post videos like this, you'll be the first to know about it. Talk to you some other time.